No need to reinvent the wheel, they say. Funnily, it's been recently reinvented. There's a bicycle with square wheels. And it's not a modern art object stored in a fancy museum. Nope. It's a totally functioning, everyday means of transportation. And yeah, it goes smoothly. Here's a secret behind this weird bike you gotta know. These square wheels don't actually rotate. Take a closer look at their design. The outside of the wheel is fitted with a track. And it's that track that moves around the entire frame, not the wheel. So, as the rider pedals, the track moves and rotates around the frame. It reminds me of a treadmill. And technically, both the treadmill and these square wheels work pretty much in the same way. Well, this invention looks pretty safe, I guess. Now, look at this weird U-shaped robot. What do you think it's made for? A new toothbrush designed by a French company called Y-Brush claims to thoroughly clean teeth. Well, it does save a bit of time. Usually, the dentists say that you have to clean your teeth for about two minutes twice a day. This device can clean all of your teeth in only 10 seconds. The toothbrush, which was first introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2017, and is now available on Amazon for US customers, features 35,000 soft nylon filaments that brush all teeth simultaneously at a 45 degree angle. While the American Dental Association recommends brushing teeth twice a day for two minutes using a soft bristle toothbrush, the Y brush was developed with the assistance of dentists over four years and is available in adult and kid sizes. It's not that easy to change the color of your car. It takes a lot of time, effort, and expertise to do that. But it seems like soon it won't be an issue any longer. Meet a color-changing car. Do you want it blue today? No problem. Maybe you prefer red. Easy peasy. About a year ago, BMW presented a concept, but they went from a monochromatic concept to a veritable rainbow of various shades and tints in just a year. Check out this electric sports sedan concept. It's called iVision D, and it's like a sneak peek into the future with all sorts of cool tech, like virtual assistants powered by AI and heads-up displays on the windshield. And get this, they even threw in a full-color version of e-ink technology, something we've never seen before from last year's concept. How rad is that? So, there are some smart folks over at the University of California, San Diego, who are working on a cool new wearable device. This gadget can actually generate a bit of electricity from the sweat on your fingertips. And get this, it even works while you're dozing off. The way it works is by touching objects with your fingertips, like typing on your phone or playing the piano. Apparently, doing these things can help produce more energy. After some testing, the engineers found that wearing the gadget for 10 hours while snoozing can generate enough juice to power an electronic watch for a full day. That's about 400 millijoules of energy, in case you were wondering. Pretty neat, huh? Did you know that around 3 million people in the UK, and millions more worldwide, are affected by color blindness? Crazy, right? It's more common in guys, with 1 in 12 males being affected. But it still affects 1 in 200 women, too. Basically, color blindness happens because of how our brains process visual information and how our retinal cone cells react to light. It makes it tough to tell the difference between colors because they all kind of blend together. But fear not. After over a decade of research and testing, the amazing Enchroma sunglasses were created. These glasses have lenses that filter out specific light wavelengths, which helps fix the overlap issue. So now, people with color blindness can finally see the world in all its colorful glory. I gotta say, this invention is cool. But recently, even cooler glasses have been invented. They were created by some brilliant researchers at Oxford University to help people who are blind or have limited vision. These glasses for augmented reality are designed to provide wearers with helpful information about their surroundings so they can confidently navigate their daily lives. 
it's amazing how this technology can give people a whole new perspective on the world and help them experience life to the fullest. We all know that plastic waste is a major problem. It's messing with marine life and our environment in all sorts of ways once it gets into the ocean. But check this out. Scientists from the University of Chemistry and Technology in Prague are trying to fix it with self-propelling microbots. These little guys are about the size of a red blood cell, and they use solar energy to move around and chow down on microplastics. It's like a sci-fi movie coming to life. And get this, they're actually making a difference. You can see them zipping around in this pic with the blue spots representing the microbots. The dangerous plastics are getting broken down and the environment is getting cleaned up using visible light. Unlike all the previous ideas mentioned in this video, this one gained neither success nor recognition. Back in the day, dudes were all about the walrus mustache and beard combo. But then, like most trends, it faded away. Suddenly, it was totally cool to be clean shaven. But let's be real, who has time for that kind of morning routine? That's why hitting up the local barber for a quick shave and shoe shine became the norm. The only problem? Barbers could only serve one customer at a time. So, some genius came up with the idea of a group shaving machine. Picture this, a row of dudes sitting side by side with the machine applying foam to all their faces at once. Then, a giant blade would come in and trim all their facial hair in one fell swoop. In theory, this bad boy could shave 12 dudes at a time. But, as with most things in life, there were some downsides. The machine couldn't adjust to different face shapes, so some guys ended up with uneven shaves. And the worst case scenario? Cuts and abrasions from that giant blade. Ouch. One more mustache-related invention. Back in the Victorian era, men were serious about their appearance. A proper gentleman knew that a well-groomed mustache was the key to success. But with great facial hair comes great responsibility. How could a man protect his prized possession from hot or frothy drinks? A man could use the mustache cup, invented by a British potter named Harvey Adams. But that wasn't enough for Reuben P. Hollinshed, who patented an even better invention in 1890, a mustache guard that suspended a gentleman's mustache out of harm's way while he ate and drank. It may look a bit painful, but hey, anything for the perfect stash. The tipping culture varies from country to country. In the USA, it's extremely rude not to tip, while in Japan, it's extremely rude to tip. How crazy is that, huh? But did you know that in the 50s, there was an automated tip requester invented? I wonder how they advertised it. It probably was something like, Introducing the ultimate invention for all the lazy hotel bellhops out there, the automatic tip requester. Now you won't have to grimace in case you're not satisfied with the tips. The machine will do it for you. Okay, jokes aside, let's dive into its history. It was by an amateur inventor named Russell E. Oakes. The device itself comes equipped with an artificial hand and cash box and can be strapped around your waist for maximum convenience. And if a guest's tip isn't up to snuff, no worries. Just flash the no sales sign and move on to the next sucker. Who needs human interaction when you've got a robotic money grabber on your side? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.